Good morning dear students. Welcome in social science class. Dear students, we have uh, discussed the introduction part of the chapter in previous video. Now today we are going to start our the first dynasty that is the slave or Mamluk dynasty which was started at 1206-90 CE. 1206-90 CE. Yes, the first ruler we can say that there was the five main rulers of slave dynasty. Qutubdin Ibak, whose time period was 1206 to 1210 CE. Then Iltitamish, time period was 1210 to 36 CE. Then Razia Sultan, her time period was 1236 to 1240 CE. Then Nasiruddin Mahmud, his time period was 1246 to 66 CE. Then Giyasuddin Balban, his time period was 1266 to 86 CE. So in total, the slave dynasty of Umluk dynasty was ruled up to 1290 CE. So let's begin with the first one, Qatubdin Abak, 1206 to 1210 CE. He founded the slave dynasty, was most of the rulers of this dynasty were slaves or the children of slaves. Yes, in this, the slave dynasty, many, uh, all the peoples, mostly we can say that they were slaves, or the children of slaves, or their children were also slaves. Ibuk established a strong kingdom based on military power. He was also having a strong kingdom, which was based on the military power. He just expanded his military power, and he defeated also his uh, great Fender, we can say that a competitor that was Yaldos, the ruler of Gajni, and freed Punjab from him. Ibuk was a great patron of literature, art, and architecture, as other rulers were there. And he built Qutub Minar and Kuwait al Islam Mosque in Delhi. Very famous, we can say that. Qutub Minar, Qutub Minar uh, you, most of the people you know about Qutub Minar. Look at the picture of. He also built a mosque known as Thai Dinka Jhumpra in Ajmer. He had literary gems like writers in his court, very famous Hassan Azbi and Mubarak Shah in his court. He died in 1210 CE and after that there was a great matter that who will be the next ruler of his empire or the successor. Qutubdin Ibuk was succeeded by his son, Aram Shah, but he was not accepted by nobles because he was not that much competent to control over the whole empire. Therefore, Iltatamish, the son-in-law of Ibuk and the Subedar of Badung, was invited to rule and he defeated Aram Shah and became the Sultan of Delhi. Now, the Iltatamish... 1210 to 1236 CE, his time period was, it was not that much a big time period. We can see that. He made Delhi, the first work he has done, that he made Delhi his capital. At the same time, he becoming Sultan. He was confronted with many problems. He is, as he just ascended the throne, he was facing a lot of problems, where, but he was faced them very bravely and defeated his main rival like Yaldos of Kashni, which was also given a challenge to Qutubdin Ebuk and Kubicha of Sindh and Multan. He was an able and shared military administrator. He was very particular about his targets. He liberated the Turkish Empire from Kashni and other foreign powers and consolidated it effectively. He was increasing his power by consolidating all the powers in one form. He diplomatically saved himself in Delhi from the wrath of Mongol conqueror Chinggis Khan by not giving shelter to Shah Khwarizm. And the next attack was almost about to done by the Mongol con conqueror Chinggis Khan but uh, anyhow he just saved his empire from him and he was saying that he was chased by Chinggis Khan and the pretext he was saying that Delhi's climate would not be suited to you and not able to survive properly over here. 
التتمش ميد ميني ادمستراتيف ريفورمز تو انكريز او تو سترينثن هيز امباير او هولد اون ديلي سلطنة هي اورغنايز او جروب او فورتي تركيش نوبلز ويش واز نون از جليها and he divided his empire into many iktas the small units so that he can control on them very effectively he introduced silver coins which is known as tanka and the copper coins which was known as jitter look at the images of the coins iltutmish was a patron of art and literature minhaj siraj was a famous writer of his court but you can underline this one is very important name just the examination point of view he wrote the accounts of his reign in the tamish reign the three persons were there also like rohani and usami very famous the three persons who were writing the uh writing about the areas of el tamish and so grace his court iltutmish was a staunch sunni muslim staunch sunni means a very particular about their religion muslim community is divided into two parts sunni and shia sunni were very, are very particular about their religions their rituals their rules and regulations the shia somehow they can break some rules and regulations so he treated shias and the hindus very badly because he was a great sunni muslim next we have due to the absence of any definite rule of inheritance iltutmish there was often a situation of chaos after the death of a ruler there was a great chaos among themselves also that who will be the next ruler of delhi and iltutmish had no faith in the capacity of his sons to rule he was believing or feeling that his sons are not that much competent who can rule on the huge empire so he nominated his daughter razia as his successor and she was an able and strong administrator although she was a girl but she was a great administrator and dressed up like a boys only and she was the first lady ruler in indian history we can say that who controlled over the huge territory for a not a such long period of time because the nobles or the male counterparts were not accepting her as a lady ruler that we can work under a lady ruler that's why her time period was not that much very long only 4 years she was controlling over delhi so these next topics we can continue in the next video that razia sultan nasiruddin muhammad and giyasuddin balban right so for this uh, today this much only can discuss thank you